Oh, wow. Whoa! What the heck? My, my birthday is in September. Wow, what a nice surprise, everybody. I love this stuff in my office. It makes, makes me happy. It makes me happy, yeah. Good morning, Cypress Village residents. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Chat. This is Ty Morgan, Executive Director, and today is April 1st, and good to see everybody out there in Cypress Village. And also, happy April Fool's to everybody out there. Today we've got a lot of information we're going to share with all of our residents and I will wrap it up as usual with a couple updates uh, here to finish off the coffee chat for today. So I will see everybody real soon. Enjoy. Good morning Cypress Village residents. Happy Friday. Thank you to all of you who joined us Wednesday for our putting tournament. It was a wonderful time. I also hope that you all have received your April calendars newsletters and sign up forms. We have a fun month coming up, a lot of um, great outings and on-site programs. So please make sure you review and submit your sign up forms before next Wednesday so that we can go ahead and create our list and get our confirmations out. One more quick reminder, Lisa Drew will be starting as our new Community Life Services Director. Her first day will be Monday, April 4th. Please stop by and welcome her to the community and to our family. We will be training over the next couple of weeks, but you are sure to see us at some programs next week. So make sure you are stopping by to welcome her to Cyprus. My last update is one thing that we were not able to include on the April calendar or in the newsletter, but we have procured a April Shred It Day. So if you have any documents that you need to shred, especially following the close of tax season, the Shred It truck will be on site for residents to use on April 30th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. So stop by, the truck will be located outside of the train lobby. You can bring your documents, they can have staples. They do ask that you remove any paper clips, um, but bring your documents and they will shred them here for you. Again, that is April 30th from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. That is all I have this week. Make sure that you are reviewing your April calendars and we look forward to seeing you at some of our upcoming programs. Thanks and we'll see you around the village. Hey, good morning everybody. Welcome to Coffee Chat. A couple updates from the maintenance department. First of all, as everybody probably heard on Wednesday, the trophy is right back where it should be. I'd like to thank CJ because as much as I would uh, like to take credit for it this year, if it wasn't for her, there's no way we would have won. And uh, Team maintenance. Team maintenance. Maintenance, tra transportation, rocking it. Turns out that the trophy was never really stolen, that Jerry Sanda had taken it to get it nice and shined up and get the new plaque to be put on it. So it was just a false alarm, so we're all grateful for that. But uh, I'd like to thank Marcus for his help in uh, trying to figure out the big caper, so thank you for that. Uh, a couple updates now. First off, the address signs that you've seen us put up on all the Cypress Village houses. Uh, we are trying to plan for next year to buy them for the other houses as a capital project. Um, so we're working on that right now they are back ordered by Home Depot both online and in the store so um, as soon as I know we'll put it back out when they're available if you don't want to wait till next year and you want to buy your own that's fine uh, we'll do another audit when next year if I have the money available in my capital projects uh, as for Tree Amigos and the mulch coming down William Davis they finished they're on Middleton Park there is a couple of houses that they may or may not have to go back to. I got a couple emails yesterday, so they are working on it. Um, so we'll have that going on. Just so you know, Tree Amigos is a commercial contract. They are contracted at the houses to mow your lawn, edge, weed whack, blow everything off, kill the weeds chemically, and uh, keep the 
flower beds and uh, bushes trimmed. So we, I know we fall behind, especially on trimming the bushes from time to time, but we will do better this year. I am renegotiating their contract for next year. And uh, we're going to try to add a couple more positions to Tree Amigo's contract to help with the fine tuning every week. So we're in negotiations already and we will keep going. They're, like I said, their contract is up at the end of this year, so we're looking good for that. Also now the pressure washing, we're having a lot of issues with that. I've been promised that next week my crew will be here every day as uh, been, we've been told. So they do check in with CJ every morning and then check out at the end of the day to find out what's going on. And right now most of my callbacks are because they're going back and cleaning windows and then they're getting people's windows on the apartment underneath or to the left or the right. Um, so they've come up with a different window washing cleaning procedure. You should see somebody hopefully with a squeegee and a spray bottle to finish the windows off correctly without getting anybody else's apartment dirty. So we should start that process next week as well as we should be in the D building um, probably by the middle of next week and the 29 and the 30 stacks you should be getting calls from Jennifer and CJ scheduling the time that they're coming into your apartment to get those bedroom windows. So that's all I have for this week. Have a great day. Hi, Cypress Village. This is Dr. Wagner at Cypress Village Dentist. Uh, by popular request, we have um, found an amazing massage therapist to provide massage therapy services here. I'm going to introduce you to her. Unfortunately, she couldn't be in person. So I'm going to introduce you to Jeanette. Hi, Je Hi, Jeanette. Hi, Dr. Wagner. I heard you're pretty good at giving massages. I am, actually. Well, how do we reach you? They should call Trina at Cypress Village Dentist. That sounds like a great idea. I can't wait to, for them to meet you in person. So this is Jeanette, she's awesome. And she does great massages, uh, deep tissue, and um, oh, it's the really nice Swiss, Swiss massages as well. So um, please call Trina and we'll get you scheduled. She's here on Thursdays. All right, see y'all soon, bye. Hello, Cypress Village. This is Laurel Mundell, Director of Administrative Services. So for starters, I do have some sad news. So my husband, who you may, may or may not know, he's active military and we just found out we have orders to Norfolk, Virginia. So that means by the end of this month, we will be moving. So um, thank you all. I, I've loved my time here and I just hope you wish us the best of luck. Uh, for the second thing, April Fools. Hope y'all are having a great April 1st. Just kidding. I'm here to stay. Good luck trying to get rid of me. So uh, on to some real topics for today. Now, I don't know if anybody spit coffee on anyone. Please let Ty know this is a joke in case this is the first time he's viewing this. I've already given him a heart attack for today. 
But um, for on to some real news now. So for starters, the concierge desk has had some questions about tax information, how to get it shipped out, sent out. So we can only weigh packages and then make sure they're picked up by the delivery men. We don't have an account uh, for FedEx or UPS for residents to use. So if you need a FedEx or UPS label, you can set up your own account online, print it, and then we can, of course, tape it on for you or weigh, weigh the item, as I mentioned, so that you know what you're sending out. Or if you need help with this process entirely, you can go to one of the locations that are near Cypress Village. And actually on Thursdays at 1.30 p.m., our transportation and activities team take a, a group out to the shopping centers at Marsh Landing, and there's a FedEx there. So if you just want to mark that in your calendar, get everything prepped up this weekend, ready to send out. And on Thursday, you can go on that bus trip uh, at 1.30 p.m. So uh, no sign up is required for that. If you need anything outside of that uh, shopping trip, then you can also call our transportation team and see what CJ Winkle can schedule you for. They do request at least one business day in advance to make sure that we can accommodate uh, those who need a pickup and drop off. And then um, the second thing is about tax prep is we're going to have some information in the weekly uh, update regarding different resources that we have available through AARP. Unfortunately, they are not offering on-site tax preparations at Cypress Village this year. So we'll have some resources there where you can, you can look into. So uh, we're also going to host uh, potentially a class for how to set up your own Uber your own Lyft accounts, or possibly a grocery store through Instacart or one of those other uh, applications. For, uh, we're just kind of gearing how much uh, in interest we would have in that. So before we either agree to one-on-one -on -one or a class, I just want to see what interest we have among residents. Uh, so if you are interested in learning how to set up your own account for Uber, which is a driving service, Lyft also a driving service, or to order your groceries online from Publix or Target, please email me or give me a call. And then we'll keep a list going. I'll work with Katie from Community Life Services to see if this would make sense to offer one-on-one -on -one work and training or if we should set up a class. Then we can record the class and then have it out there in channel 266 for you all as well. So just let me know. Other than that, hope you all have a great day and see you around the village. Yes, ma'am. Huh? Hi everyone and welcome to another week of Coffee Chat. I uh, wanted to highlight one of the steaks that we've been serving on our new menu. Everyone's been asking about it and wanted to kind of get a see of what it looks like. So here we have our New York strip, which is cooked your way on the grill and it's topped with an herb butter. And as you can see, our sides for this on this particular plate is grilled asparagus and an au gratin baked potato. Looks delicious, come down and enjoy, and we can't wait to see you down here at the Loon's Nest. Thanks. All right, I'm back, and I hope everybody is enjoying today's informative episode. I've only got a couple things I wanted to touch on, and one of those things happens to be our event on Wednesday that we had out at the Boathouse. We had the Putters Club and the Putting Tournament for Cypress Village. We had a great time, weather held up. There was a little bit of wind out there that affected some of the shots, but I think most, uh, most importantly, everybody had a great time and we had a great turnout. Unfortunately, there was a snafu on the scoring uh, way that you know the champion was uh, determined, but I'm not going to argue that. I'm not a sore loser, uh, but I will say congratulations to David Green and C.J. Winkle. They did a great job as a team together. Uh, Laurel and I had a couple tough holes, which probably cost us the, the championship. But with that being said, I did have the low individual score, which before the tournament started, I know there was a team effort, but my interpretation was the low score for the team member was going to be the low score for the team, not best ball. So Mr. Richard Stockline, who is one of the uh, putter uh, board members, he made me aware of that as the scoring was being tabulated because I thought we were in pretty good shape to take the trophy. However, 
we're going to have to look towards next year to, uh, to get that trophy back here in administration. But congratulations to uh, Dave and CJ. And who won the putting tournament for the residents, Katie? Um, Peter Whiteman came out with the lowest. Peter Whiteman. Yes, Peter so. Whiteman. Congratulations to Peter. He was the lowest, I think, net score. Uh, not sure about gross score, but Peter does put in his time out there every Friday and probably sneaks in some practicing uh, in between Fridays as well. So congratulations. But all in all, thank you to everybody that came out. Uh, residents and staff uh, it was a great, great outing. So to many more in the future and looking forward to that. Um, next, I'm just going to briefly talk about COVID. Not a lot to share, so that's good news. Um, as far as we know, we have no confirmed employee cases and no confirmed uh, resident cases to report, so great news on the COVID front. Um, lastly, I do have birthdays, which I love to, uh, to share. Let's see if we have any April Fool's birthdays out there. We actually don't have any April Fool's birthday, birthday residents out there, and that's no April Fool's, that's true. So uh, tomorrow, this Saturday, we have three. We've got Mr. John Oberhue, Miss Marlene Russell, and Ann Gad. Happy birthday to you three tomorrow. On the third, we've got an individual. Her name is Christina Getz. Miss Getz, happy birthday to you on the third. On the fourth, we've only got one as well, and that's Miss Nancy Kyle. Nancy, happy birthday to you. On the fifth, we've got two. We've got Nancy's husband, Robert Kyle, goes by Bob. Happy birthday, Bob, and one of our new residents who is a very, very uh, nice lady, and that is Carol Hawes. Carol, happy first birthday with us here at Cypress Village. On the 7th, another individual, we've got Miss Barbara Feldman. Barbara, happy birthday to you. And I'm going to go one more just because there's a lot of individual birthdays. We've got one birthday gal on the 8th, and that is Miss Shirley Deal. So happy birthday to all of you residents out there in the village. Not sure if the birthday fairy will show up or not, but I hope so. Um, and if not, please enjoy your birthday time with your friends, your family members, other residents, and you know, enjoy the rest of the weekend. So with that, we're going to sign off. And again, thank you for tuning in and have a great weekend, everybody. God bless. Bye-bye. Words can bring me down. Quiet on the set. Hey y'all, and welcome to another week of coffee chat. <laughs> it's okay. Dang, girl. <laughs> no worries. <sighs> Hello. Mm. <laughs> I, got, I swear, I always do this right after I eat, and I just felt chickpeas in my teeth. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Try the roasted chickpeas They're from the Loon's Nest. They're delicious. Have a nice little kick to them. Perfect afternoon snack. Okay. <laughs> I know. <laughs> that was a little slow. Oh, okay. My <laughs> name is not okay. And she's recording all of this. We're gonna have a, a B-roll of bloopers. Yeah. Per usual. You're probably gonna be on fire. Three, two, <laughs> one. Good morning, Cypress Village residents. Welcome to Virtual Coffee Chat. Today is April 1st. Happy April Fool's Day to everybody out there. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's okay. I'll start over. Okay. I was just going to. No, it's not the time then. What? Well, it's it's fine. No, it's not the time. What? I was just going to talk to you about. I'm pregnant. You're lying. April Fool's. I wasn't expecting you. Shut up. Don't say that. Oh my God. Even I'm like, why is happening? It's Lord. a lot to that handle. Actually, what is happening? That got me. This case wasn't good enough with the balloons, so I needed to think of it. That was happening. That was, uh. That was so good now, was at the time. Oh, yeah, please.